Hello everybody, this is Trinity Gamer back to continue the Wicked Win Tournament. First round matches, and we have four matches for you to tuck into here. Starting off with Fukui Raptor against Monolophosaurus. Neovenator taking on Carnotaurus. Lillian Sternus going up against Alpha Allosaurus. And you strip the Spondylus against Sign Raptor. So without further ado, let's get on with the first matchup. And yes, I do have a bit of a headache going, so... <laughs> but I'll sold you off. Alright, up first in the red corner, we have a Fukui Raptor. The Fukui thief himself, but can it do well in this tournament? In the blue corner, we have another 1200 strength wind dinosaur, the Monolophosaurus. The single crested lizard itself. Could be a tricky combatant for Fukui Raptor to get past. Look there. Ooh, the Monolophosaurus gets the first hit. There's the elemental power. How handy will that be in this tournament? Oh, that's a tie. I think I think ties will suit the Fukui Raptor more because it is tie type and it does have the Sonic Blast. And it also has tie breaker. But not much damage dealt. As this Monolophosaurus is defensive type. Oh, there's the tiebreaker there. Ooh, the Monolophosaurus getting off the hit. Another elemental power coming. Ooh, but the Fukui Raptor striking back. This has been quite an back and forth match so far but there's the dino illusion can that turn this match swing this match into monolophosaurus's favor oh well here's our dino illusion in effect stopping fukui raptor landing the damage there din din, din 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 Ooh, but this time the Fukui Raptor will land some damage here with a biting win. But elemental power will limit that damage. As you see there, and Dino Illusion once again being triggered. Wow, this is quite a long match, isn't it? Considering it's a 1v1. I mean, it's been back and forth, you know, the Monolophosaurus getting the hit here. And it all comes down to this. Well, not really, because the Fukui Raptor needs two hits. Oh, that's a tie. But there's the Tappy Jar, is it? Stop the Fukui Raptor from dying in said time. Oh, a back and forth match, and the Monolophosaurus just pulls away in the end to win round one. But remember, this is a best out of three, so the Fukui Raptor still has a chance. But he will need to win this... The next matchup between these two, which is coming up now. Alright, Diho, time for round two. And yes, we know our combatants are, so we don't need to go through the movesets. Oh, I have to move my cursor out of the way. Can the Monolophosaurus take a 2 0 doubly, or can the Fukui Raptor pull it back? Let's find it. Ooh, that's a good start from the Mono. It didn't get a crit off in the last matchup between these two. But it does this time, and there's our elemental power. Which is probably the reason why the Monolophosaurus won round one. Oh, that's a tie. Ties do suit the Fukui Raptor more, but we did not get to see Sonic Blast activate. Will we this time? Wow, three times, no Sonic Blast. That's, that's quite a surprise, actually. But what isn't a surprise, the Fukui Raptor getting off the hit, and in come the Tappy Jaras for Tiebreaker. But 
the Dino Illusion has been triggered. And that was also a contributing factor as to why the Monolophosaurus won round one. Ooh, but this time though, the Monolophosaurus does get off a hit. Another elemental power coming, and it looks like the Monolophosaurus is going to win 2-0. Oh, unless... Tight, unless the tight spam happens again. Oh, come on. What does Sonic Blast have to do to get triggered, man? Come on. Oh, my God. No Sonic Blast. But if the Pui Raptor does get that hit, which, which the Dino Illusion will stop, but it means the Monolophosaurus can now once again be damaged if the Fukui Raptor is fortunate enough to get off a hit. Oh, but it's not! The Monolophosaurus says no, and the Fukui Raptor bites the dust as the Monolophosaurus takes a 2-0 win. And pretty impressive by Monolophosaurus. Look pretty, look pretty resilient, pretty strong, and could it be one to watch in this tournament? We'll just have to see, won't we? But anyway, that is the first matchup done. Let's move on to our next matchup, which which sees the Neovenator taken on the Carnotaurus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the new hunter itself, the Neovenator. One of the apex predators of the UK during its reign. And will it reign in this tournament? A very attack minded dinosaur this, so the Carnotaurus will definitely have to watch its back. And speaking of Carnotaurus, in the blue corner we have, well you know it, the Carnotaurus. But this Carnotaurus is also a beastly dino, lots of attack, and do not underestimate the power of that ninja attack. So we could be in for a very quick match between these two since they are both attack minded. Unlike the first matchups where both dinos were all resilient. Oh, that's a tie. Um, yeah, even, evens for the ties. Ooh, the Carnotaurus gets the first hit. Can the Carnotaurus follow in the footsteps of the other gold dinos in the other tournaments and win his own tournament? Ooh, the Neo Venator though, get, getting off the hit. And there's the Struthio Rush. Slippy Slap. Boosh. Neo Venator does have the slight lead, but it's been an even start so far. Ooh, has that changed though? The Neo Venator getting off an attack burst as well. And here comes Bite in Wind. But this Carnotaurus is Crisis type, so. So once his HP goes down in the red, which it has, that ninja attack might actually be enough for the Carnotaurus to snatch this round. Ooh, well the Carnotaurus does get off a hit, and it is a net crusher. And remember, because the Carnotaurus is Crisis type, yep, that net crusher will do a significant amount of damage, and leave it, leave it all on the line here, as next attack will win this round. Well, decides who wins this round, I should say. Oh, and it's Neo Venator! The Neo Venator is gonna go 1 0 up against the Carnotaurus. Are we in for an upset? Can the Neo Venator pull this off? Or can the Carnotaurus pull it back in round two? Well, we've got to wait for the attack to finish first. Oh, and an attack burst as well, because why not? The Ovenator looking mightily impressive there in that first round, dispatching the Carnotaurus, although it was a close match. And let's hope round two will be just as close. Alrighty then, round two between these two and we're fighting on a volcanic field. Which is not very appropriate for these wind dinosaurs, but oh well, the arena's random so I can't do nothing about it. Can the Carnotaurus pull this match back, or can the Neovenator get a 2-0 win, which would be kind of a surprise. <laughs> you know what I find funny is that Neovenator in this game is like a tiny little ratty dino. Like, uh, shut up, squeaking. 
Ooh, that's not a good start for the Neo Venator, but just the start the Carnotaurus would have wanted. Anyway, yeah, back back to the Neo Venator. I find it interesting because it's a little ratty dinosaur in this in this game. Yeah, its its size is basically on par with like a Carnotaurus and Allosaurus. You know, the bigger wind dinosaur. So, if anything, the Neo Venator should should have the same like size model and such as the Carnotaurus. Funny, isn't it? Ooh, the Neo Venator getting off a crit this time. And this Neo Venator is attack type, so its moves do pack more of a punch. Hmm, what could happen here? Oh, it's a tie. Oh, the Neo Venator has won! <laughs> Sorry about that, I was shutting my window because he's naughty background noise outside, but... Wow, that was quick! And, what an upset that is! The Neo Venator defeating the Carnotaurus! And that's a huge surprise, so if, if you were, if you betted on Carnotaurus winning this tournament, you're wrong because the Carnotaurus has been eliminated. Wow. <laughs> well, that was quick, wasn't it? Right, on to our third matchup, which sees the Lillian Sterners take it on the Alpha Allosaurus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the Lillian Sterners. The early... One of the earliest dinosaurs in this franchise, in terms of where, where, what time period it was from. But can it show the can it show all the other dinos that an oldie is a goodie? In the blue corner, however, we have the Alpha Allosaurus, the purple predator here, and it will definitely be one to watch in this tournament, and it could be one to watch in this bracket now because the Carnotaurus was eliminated. So. Alpha Allosaurus probably now the favourite in that cat in in the group of category things. But the Carnotaurus did did take a tumble against Neo Venator, so Lillian Sternus is easily capable of defeating the Alpha Allo. And take into account that the Lillian Sternus does have does have a very attack-minded moveset, so the Allosaurus will have to be careful. Ooh, but the Allosaurus does get off the first hit. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, but Lillian Stern is striking back. Not much damage done, but there's the Cyclone there. Could come in handy, but the, as the Alpha Allosaurus still has the slight lead. Ooh, and Cyclone will be coming in handy. Because Lillian Sternus will be getting off a diving press. <laughs> like you could do that to an Allosaur. Oh uh, well, oh well. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tie. <laughs> Lillian Sternus looking pretty good so far. Oh, that's another tie. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, I think the Lillian Sternus has just won round one. You know, because it got a sonic blast off on the second time, the Fukui Raptor didn't get it off once, even though it was about 20 times. Yep, that sonic blast is enough to take out the Alpha Allosaurus and give Lillian Sternus a 1-0 lead. Wow, could we be in for another upset? Well, let's find out for when we start round two. Well, here we go with round two. Will the Lillian Sternus get a surprise 2-0 win? Or can the Allosaurus even the score? Well, we've already had one upset in this video. The Neo Venator getting past the Carnotaurus. Quite comfortable. Well, it wasn't that comfortable because it was back and forth. But the Neo Venator got the hits off when it needed to. Ooh, the Allosaurus starting off good. A hit right off the bat. And the poison as well. The Alpha Allosaurus taking off the kitten gloves. Oh, that's a tie. Actually, I think both of these guys got Sonic Blast. 
Ooh, Allosaurus in complete control so far. Ooh, however... Oh, it's a Dino Stuffer! <laughs> I forgot about that. The Dino Stuffer there, keeping the Alpha Allosaurus in the lead. Well, it'll probably still be in the lead anyway, because Lillian Sternus' crit won't do too that, that much damage. Ooh, that's another tie. When I say that Al Alpha Allosaurus is the favourite in this match, I say it because it has it has more health and it has more attack than Lillian Sternus. And the only thing Lillian Sternus has over it is technique. And from my experience, I find that strength, the benefits of having attack and more health seem to outweigh the benefits of having high technique. Because high technique is more of a gamble. I mean, having high health and high attack is a guarantee. But, you know, having high technique is always that gamble of getting off those technique-based moves. I'm not saying that technique-based dinos are bad, you know, they are really good, and if you do get them off, you know, they are pretty, st they are just as strong as the attacking dinos, maybe even stronger. But, you know, it's still a coin toss. But anyway, the Alpha Allosaurus, even in the score against Lillian Sternus, so you know what that means, it's all going to come down to this next matchup. Alrighty then, the final round matchup between these two. Who has just who has enough fuel left in the tank to persi persevere? And who will fall? Let's find out. Let's see. Oh, that's a one. Oh, that's a tie. Both of these combatants have Sonic Blast, but we've only seen it once in this matchup. And that was used by the Lillian Sternus to win round one. Ooh, the Lillian Sternus getting off that crit, but once again, Dino Stuffer is shutting it down. I think Lillian Sternus is a tie type. I can't remember what type I used for this guy. I think it's a tie type. Well, the ties do help the Lillian Sternus more. And however, but however, a Sonic Blast from the Alpha Allo can change all that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, I messed up there because the Lillian Sternus was supposed to get the crit and Allosaurus was supposed to go rock, but... You know, Lillian Sternus got the win and it got the Cyclone off anyway, so I don't think it mattered. So I don't think it's going to matter. And well, I don't, actually, no, it's not going to matter because... Oh, actually it might, because the Lillian Sternus could lose here. Hmm, that's not good. Ooh, a banana surprise. The Alpha Allosaurus getting off the crate. Hmm. Okay, okay, it didn't matter. The Lillian Sternus got off the hit and pulled off a surprise victory. Over the Alpha Allosaurus. Wow. The Alpha Allosaurus and the Carnotaurus eliminated. Wow. That's quite a surprise. But let's give our props to the Neovenator and Lillian Sternus respectively for those fine victories. And has could that have opened up this tournament? Well, we still got one more match to go. And that is the... Hang on, I'm going to double check. The Eustrapta Spondylus taking on the Sign Raptor. Uh, this should be an interesting clash. Two dinosaurs I don't really know much about. Like, not the actual dinosaur. Like, not... Just don't know much about what they can do in this game. Or how good they are. So this should be interesting. But anyway, at first, in the red corner, we have the Eustrapta Spondylus. Doom, 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 doom. It'll be tough for it though, because in the blue corner we have the Sign Raptor. The Chinese thief. Why is it called Sign Raptor? It, it looks nothing. It, 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 it looks nothing like a bloody Dromaeosaur. It's like Mega Raptor. It's not even a freaking Dromaeosaur. It, and yeah, it's called Mega Raptor. And Sign Raptor is another oddity. Maybe they thought it was a Dromaeosaur, but obviously it got reclassified. I don't know. But anyway. Sign Raptor it is. Okay, that's a six. That's 
gets this. Ooh, we both open up with a tie. Oh, here comes a sonic blast from the Eustractor Spondylus. Actually, let's get my notes up. See which bat. I can't remember what types I picked for these two. That's the one. Okay, I think my Eustriptor Spondylus is defense type, and my Sign Raptor is also defense type. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, another tie. Ties probably suit you, Strip the Spondylus, more because of that Sonic Blast. Oh my god, we're going to see another Sonic Blast. You Strip the Spondylus. Well, neither of our combatants have had an actual hit so far, but the Strip the Spondylus is landing damage, utilizing Sonic Blast. Wow, could. Wow, this might actually be history with. If you strip the spawners, gets off another Sonic Blast or enough ties, it could actually win without even attack getting an actual attack on. Oh, oh, well, well, never mind. I think the you strip the spawners is about to win round one. The Sign Raptor not putting up much of a fight there, and yeah, the Galley Rush is going to finish him off. Boom. Well, that's, well, the Sign Raptor did absolutely nothing, and you strip the spawners takes the first round victory. But, as we know, it is a best out of three, so the Sign Raptor still has time to turn it around. Alright then, yeah, round two between these two, and will the Eustraptor Spondylus continue to dominate, or can the Sign Raptor put up a fight? Ooh, the Sign Raptor getting off a hit. And here's that defense boost. Boosting the resilience that the Sign Raptor has. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, here comes Sonic Blast again. We definitely saw what damage it did to the Sign Raptor in the first round. Boosh. Not as much damage this time. Maybe defense boost does have an effect. Ooh, a Sign Raptor though, getting off that critical hit. And another defense boost as well. And look at that. I think the, I think the Sign Raptor's going to win this matchup. One hit from the Sign Raptor will end it. Ooh, but the Eustraptor Spondylus, not done yet. As a Galley Rush comes in. As does a wall smash. However, with the defense boost, the Sign Raptor will not take as much damage. Oh wow! It hmm. Even with defense boost, it took an absolute beating. Wait, is that? Hmm. I I'll have to double check what Sonic Blast does. I think that's that might be to do with Sonic Blast. Oh, um. Well, choke my neck and count me out of the ring because I counted the Ustrep the Spondylus out and out of nowhere, the Ustrep the Spondylus defeats the Sign Raptor and takes a 2-0 win. Could Ustrep the Spondylus be one to watch in this tournament? I'm, hang on, I'm going to double check my video because I have, I have a video of what all these moves do. So I'm going to double check to see what Sonic Blasters run about. I mean that is it for the matches, but I'm gonna re I'm gonna double check real quick before we go through the table. Hmm, I need to update that. Yeah, I, I actually need to update that. I need to, I need to remake that video because I got sand trap here and it says it lowers the technique, which I know it doesn't. It lowers the damage. It increases the damage you take the opponent takes in a tie. Hmm, I need to change that. But anyway, back to this video. We have the matchups here for the quarterfinals. We have the Monolophosaurus taking on Neo Venator and Lillian Sternus going up, up against Eustreptor Spondylus. Wow, this tournament could definitely be interesting now that the Carnotaurus and the Alpha Allosaurus are both gone. And now, looking at it, I probably, I would probably guess that the winner of the tournament is actually going to come from this bracket. But we'll see how all of these fit up in the next video. 
So until then, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you're new, one subscribe, free, feel free to do so. And this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. <laughs>